are you? I'm good. How are you doing today? Okay, fine. You ready for this? Yes, I'm ready. Thought we maybe just start through the week and start on Sunday when you arrived, and and if there's things that come to your mind that uh, of importance to you or that you thought it was interesting, you can tell the folks about it. Well, sure. Okay, we got here on a Saturday, and we got there on a Sunday morning early, and uh, we went to uh, to the hotel, which is about a two-hour drive from the airport, from Shannon Airport, and we had a uh, uh, good big breakfast, you know, they served the full Irish breakfast, which is, includes beans and sausages and uh, bacon and eggs and uh, 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 all kinds of breads and different things that they, they bring out. And uh, we had that, and then we went upstairs to our room and got some sleep, you know. So you need to do that for the first, uh, first day you get there. And then we got up later that night, and I guess that's the night they had the welcome dinner, isn't it? Yes. Uh, that's the night that uh, all half of Clay Morris got in the dining room, and we all they all welcomed us to Ireland and had a lovely menu printed up. Welcome James and Carl Ann, Drury to Ireland, and uh, and all that. And we had a, night, a wonderful dinner there. And uh, then uh, let's see, uh, that was that took care of Sunday. Then Monday was the day that I went to. Uh, Galway to do uh, those TV4 interviews, wasn't it? Yes, you did an RTE radio show with Dave Fanning in the morning. Yeah, that's it. That's it. And then I did a little bit of television on the street where I was walking with that girl. Yes, said, uh-huh. That's the thing we did that day. And that was, took us, uh, you know, Galway was about an hour away from Clay Morris or an hour and a half. So it took most of the day to get down there and get that done and then get back. So I don't think we did anything else on uh, on uh, Monday. Did, did you do any sightseeing? Like uh, said in one of the news articles that you went to Conmara in the Kong region? Oh, yes, 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 yes. We did go to Conmara. And Conmara is what they call the Wild West in Ireland, like the, our Wild West here. It's very, uh, uh, quite desolate. There's not very many people live out there. And it's where you see all the stone fences. I mean, every every half acre plot is uh, is surrounded by stone fences that they've been putting up for a thousand years. You know, the land was way too rocky to farm, so they started picking rocks up, and where they piled them was in a fence. And uh, uh, then, as the uh, Irish families, you know, being a, a Catholic country and uh, uh, they, they they have big, big families, and uh, some of them have 10 to 12 to 13 children, you know, and a lot of them do. And so they'd have a, a piece of property like a 50-acre plot. Well, they'd have to, they'd have to uh, cut it up among the children so that everybody could make a living. So they'd give everybody three acres or four acres or half an acre or whatever the size of the plot was uh, relative to the size of the family. And then they they wall that off of their own little stone wall, you know, and farm that plot. And they did that for centuries. So the whole, that whole part of the country, and anywhere there's rocks in Ireland, is, is uh, amazingly surrounded by these uh, stone fences that were put up by hand without mortar, and yet they, they've stood some of them for a thousand years, you know. Mm. So it's just uh, amazing to see it. And the Connemara is also... Uh, Beautifully, uh, a lot of streams in it, and some, some small waterfalls, and some gorgeous country. And uh, we found it to be quite, quite wild, wild and, and desolate out there. There are very few people live out in that area. And uh, then we went by Ashford Castle, which is a part of it is was built 800 years ago, I guess, and it's a big establishment where they have rooms for. Uh, uh, distinguished guests. I think Ronald Reagan stayed there at one time, and uh, they have a, a, a very fine restaurant. But they also have a restaurant outside where you can look at the castle. And we had lunch there one day, the second day we went there. Mm -hmm. We see, went, to, went to Ashford Castle twice because I got to see it one time, and then I, Carl Ann hadn't seen it, so we definitely went there. I think it was the last day or towards the last day. So I, I'm getting confused. But anyway, uh, I think it was Tuesday that we went and did the AM, uh, the Ireland AM show. Is that right? Yes. Uh, Channel 3. 
Mm-hmm. And that was a delightful show. My goodness, it was uh, what you saw on, on the clip. I, by the way, I watched that clip you sent me, and it was beautiful. But uh, I wish they'd done the rest of the show because it was so so funny. Uh, they had these guys that ran around in, in horse outfits. I think I told you about them. Right. And uh, these guys were, were dressed up as jockeys and stood straight up, but they had a thing that attached to their waist that looked like a horse and with floppy legs on the front and the back and then uh, additional fake jockey legs on the outside of the saddle. And they galloped around the studio and ran into each other and ran up and down. And it was hilarious. I mean, it was just, it was so funny. I, could, I just couldn't hardly uh, keep from laughing all through the show, just seeing them out on the, out in the hall, you know. And uh, I mean, it's just so goofy. And that, and that week, that show had other racing. They had racing chickens. They had racing pigs. They had racing, I guess they had racing something else. I don't know what, but they had these same guys probably putting these outfits on of a chicken or a pig and then racing around, you know. Very, very funny. Very, very hilarious. And their facial expressions were always very, very, uh, uh, look, both the guys looked like they were panicked with loose horses that were running off with them, you know. <laughs> So it was really very, very, very funny. And they had some beautiful fashions. They had some of the top models in, in uh, Galway uh, there, you know, fashion models, tall, 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 skinny girls. And uh, they modeled some of the racetrack fashions and were, were quite, a lot of the stuff was quite lovely. So anyway, I just I just thought the show was, was first class and everything about it was, uh, was uh, upscale. Uh, we did it in the Radisson Hotel there in Galway, and they had a wonderful breakfast buffet for everybody that uh, participated. So we, we got a great breakfast uh, there out of the thing and, and uh, just enjoyed the interview a lot. So I thought that would, that would be a great publicity because everybody in Ireland watches that, and we were able to tell them where we were going to be and all that. And, I, and I, obviously it worked out. So. Yes. <laughs> Big time. Uh, 